What else? You know what time it is? If it was, I got it. QB. Quick one stop, move it non stop. And if you break my heart, it go pay like on shot. And baby, slow down, baby, slow down. I come a little closer, make me go down. Oh, can I have your name and your number, please? I like to know where you reside. Baby, girl, you got me on my knees. My love for you, I can't deny. Oh, can I have your name and your number, please? I like to know where you reside. Baby, girl, you got me on my knees. You know my love so deep. Happiness over happiness, yeah, no beef. You're the reason I'm alive. So, my baby, if you want me to be your other, maybe you can be my Eve. Oh, don't ask my comma, so my bullet is a pipe. I'm begging on my knees, I want you to be my wife. I swear to God, baby girl, I need you in my life. Take a look around the world, I'm a who's the one size. From last giddy, the one you're down to paga. Swag some point, be feeling seen, I go shadow, jelly, follow pet sexy. But baby girl, you bother. Even if I die, then I come again, you be my lover. Until eternity, baby girl, you feeling it? Well, I guess you don't know who you're dealing with. For the pawn, baby, money no be wahala. Let me know when you were down. I will be your power and I'ma do whatever Cause you be my angel, what else? One stop, move it non stop And if you break my heart, it go pay like gun shots And baby, slow down, baby, slow down I come a little closer, make me go down Oh, can I have your name and your number, please? I like to know where you reside Baby, girl, you got me on my knees My love for you, I can't deny Oh, can I have your name and your number, please? I like what to else? know where you reside you know Baby, girl, you got me on my knees You keep telling me you don't you, believe Trust me, I'm a Christian, I don't deceive I know be yawa, all I do is kill the beast So all the things that they do, you know the sea uh, You don't be the one to blame Of course, so many people go know my name But I'm down to F, and I'm still the same The game don't change me, I change the game uh, If you want me to go to church I go go, me name me now for four to bed, so you for know I'm mad at me do, we said if we do And I say me shocks it to the craft, then I me will do If he say anything, I say so I relax I say we didn't have a crowd, we didn't be cash Please be my high life, I will be your jazz For me post I will near my, you see me say yes My come move you clean, my me A plus, what else? One like stop, I? move it non stop And if you break my heart, it go pay like on shot And baby, slow down, baby, slow down I come a little closer, make me go down Oh, can I have your name and your number, please? I like to know where you reside Baby, girl, you got me on my knees My love for you, I can't deny Oh, can I have your name and your number, please? I like to know where you reside Baby, girl, you got me on my knees My love for you, I can't deny One stop, one stop What else? You know what time it is, baby Be go be like on shot Baby, slow down uh-huh. Make we go down Oh, can I have your name and your number, please? I like to know where you reside Baby, girl, you got me on my knees My love for you, I can't deny Oh, can I have your name and your number, please? I like to know where you reside Baby, girl, you got me on my knees My love for you, I can't deny Hey, what's up? My name is Esther, and today you're watching Teens Talk on GHTVabroad.com. You can find us on www.ghtvabroad.com. And today's topic is about Relationship 101. And we are going to discuss topics like betrayal, love in general, and standards. So, I've got three wonderful participants here. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Deborah, and I'm 19 years old. My name is Chris and I'm 20 years old. My name is Chris and I'm 20 years old. Cool. Okay, let's start or head to the first question. Okay, the first thing we are going to discuss is love in general, yeah, because it's the foundation of all this. Um, my first question to you guys is, what's the difference between love and being in love? It's pretty hard. Because for me, Love is much deeper than being in love. Like being in love is just, you know, a short period of time. Like, okay, you meet each other and yeah, oh my God, he's so cute or she's so cute. And yeah, yeah, you find yourself being in a relationship. For, but for me, love is much deeper, isn't it? What about you guys? Is it deeper or do you think uh, it's the same like being in love? Because I recognize even though when I'm watching <coughs> movies and all this, Okay, um, people tend to, um, you know, sacrifice a lot, a lot when they love someone, and 
if it's just being in love, it fades, you know, in a period of time. And it's like love is sacrifice, and it's so deep and it's intense. So, for me personally, um, love and being in love is not the same thing. To be honest, what about you guys? Um, I think love in general is caring about someone more than about yourself. To trust that person fully um, and not just to think about yourself anymore. So you have you guys have to share. Mm -hmm. That is a really, really important thing. And being able in love is, mm, I would say, um, like you just said, a um, um, short period. Um, you guys have um, strong chemistry and everything is wonderful, perfect, yeah. everyone is happy and yeah, but you forget about um, having a hard time in future. Like it's not always um, happy around you guys. Yeah, that's true. And you will go through hard times and the most important thing is that you have to survive and be strong in that period of time. Yeah, that's so, true. And if you're really in love, most people forget about the hard times. And not everyone is going to survive those hard times. It's yeah. true. Yeah, you said something very good because it's like, you know, people like to be or enter relationships in general, you know, even young people. Mm -hmm. It starts from, I don't know, no, nowadays. 13, 15. So my question to you guys, is it possible for someone who's 15 or something to enter <coughs> a relationship and say to um, oneself, okay, you know what, I want to settle with this guy or this girl and I want to provide, I want to start dating. Um, is that possible for a 15 year old to say, yeah, okay, I want to marry him, I want to, you know, spend my rest of the, the rest of the days with him, it will work, we will settle everything is good. Do you think this is good or is clever, possible? Because me, I don't think so, um, to be honest. Uh, I would say, uh, in my opinion, uh, it's too early at the age of 15 to think about love. Um, at this age group, you should, um, should carry on your future um, to finish the school. Mm. And after that, when you go into um, university or like that, um, you could carry um, carry uh, carry on love as well. Yeah, but true. at this age group, um, you should carry on. Yeah, so. but when you know when is the right time to start dating? Because okay, those things <coughs> are very good said. Like they are true, but. Thinking realistically, everybody has feelings, you know, right. even though the li this little child, because each and everyone had a crush, like, uh, as we were 15, like, let's, uh, it can be a superstar or this, or an actor, and, um, yeah, are these feelings, you know, for sure, or are these, can you take these serious, like? <laughs> well, I think it depends, um, because... In this generation, I don't think it's possible, but I, I mean, there are other generations who are now married, and when you ask them how they might still tell you, I met that person in high school. Yes. So I think yes. it is not common like today, because I think, to be honest, all of us, I think at the age of 14, 15, we were, we were saying we were in love, but at the age of 19, 20, you realize it was actually foolishness. Yeah. You realize that it was just a crush. Yeah. So I think in this generation, we are too naive, so I think they should rather focus on school, as he said, or on your hobbies, or because sometimes at the age of 14, you don't even know who you are. So I think it's true. That's the best time to find out who you are, it's what you true. like, and because you can even have a boyfriend at the age of 40, it's never too late. So mm. they shouldn't rush. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think so. I think even 95, you can still have a boyfriend, like, or start having a boyfriend. I think it's never too late, but like finding out who you are. It might be late at the age of 95 or 40. That's true, yeah, 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 that's true. But when should we start dating? Because even our parents are like, oh, <coughs> don't do that. You're 14. 
which I quite understand with 40, me personally, but okay, even though if we're um, older like 18 and all this where I think okay you mm. can actually start but okay yeah no you have to focus on school you have to do your career and after that <laughs> yeah but how how is that possible like okay you are doing your schooling never had any contact like you know and then you expect the person to be married after right after graduation is that possible like let's think realistically like, very realistic I don't know what's possible because that's my other question to it when should we start then dating because our parents want us to finish focus on one thing which is quite you know it does make sense as Deborah said you have to find yourself in order to enter in a relationship otherwise you don't know what you want and uh, you just you are just roaming about I think so if you don't mm -hmm. don't know you and um, if you if you Personally, don't you uh, don't know yourself? You'll find yourself, you know, going there and there because you yourself do not know what you want, what you like, and that's why I like the point of finding yourself, finding your identity. Mm -hmm. So, so you mean start starting start to date is you know it depends on the person. No? It depends on. It really depends on the person. Yeah. I think like um, back in the days, I was like, oh. Um, 18, 19 would be the perfect age to date uh, someone and then um, you guys may be uh, in a relationship for about five years yeah. and then it would be perfect to marry. Yeah. But um, it really depends on the person and maybe at the age of, I don't know, 20, 25 even, you're not ready. Yeah. You didn't find yourself. Yeah. Why should I settle? Because someone else said you're too old. Yeah. Um, you're just. It's their point of view, you know. But I don't think. I I really think it's about yourself. If you're ready, then start dating. Yeah. If you're still not ready at the age of thirty, why should I be in pressure to date mm. as someone? Uh, so it's fine if somebody or someone is twenty years old. Yeah. He or she is um, in his or his yeah his or his late twenties, yes. and it's like okay, I want I want to settle now. I've never had the contact with that person, but now I want to set settle. You guys think think it's not clever? No, like, it's not it's clever. Wrong. It's wrong. It's it wrong. takes time. It takes time. Because okay. age doesn't matter. Um, yeah. When when you are ready to handle a relationship or you are uh, in your mind in your head intelligent. Um, mm, to to being in a relationship, you can you can go on, but age doesn't matter. Okay, so that's why um about the question before um when they are fifteen year olds, who, who think they know uh, the meaning about love. Mm -hmm. Um, when I think about myself, when I was fifteen, I didn't know anything, and I even had hard times at school and. I didn't think of boys or su such things like that, but um, as the years go by, there are new generations and they gr also grow from our experiences. Mm -hmm. So there may be 15-year-olds who are wiser than than um, like us and so sure. sure. 15? Yes, there are. Well, but not there are people mean. like my cousin. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's really, really mature for her age. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And when I think about myself when I was uh, 15 years old, I didn't know things that she knows now. Yeah. Okay. So she knows more than me because of maybe based on my experiences. So she knows how to handle s mm. uh, such things that I didn't know how to handle. Mm. So I yeah. wouldn't say. Yeah. 15, no. You can also okay. be childish at the age of um, 20, 20 yes. yeah. Yeah. So, but, 30, yeah. 40. But the question to it, like, okay, we just talk, we just talked about maturity. Yeah? So would you be fine dating someone with a difference, about age difference, mm -hmm. about 10 to 20 years? Because, as you said, you can be mature enough, but <coughs> let's say, I don't know, you are 15 or not 15 years so young, let's say 18 and the person is 20 years, not 5, 20 years older than you. Is it okay? 20 is too much. 20 too much? Is too but much. we just talked about maturity, I don't understand. Huh? Yes, it's true, but 20 years is way too much. 
that that person could be my father. Yeah, and true. I think um, ten years is like okay. Ten years and um, more than ten years would be way too much for me. And then also the ten years, so it depends on the person. So um, if I find out that the person only dates like um, people of my age and wants to use their um, their um, youth, then I wouldn't date that person. Okay. I, it really depends on that person, how they manage their life, mm -hmm. and yeah. Okay. Some people even in that in that age have already kids, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it really depends on the person. It, de um, it depends on the experience. Of course, there are some people they dated someone who was their age group, and they feel like that person was always childish. So yes. it will come to a point in their life where, like, okay, no, I was, I would like to try something else. So yeah. I would date. Maybe I'm 30, and I would like to date someone who's 50. Mm -hmm. But I think some people do not do that because of the kids. Because if I am 30, and for example, you are 60, that means when I'm 70, you are heading to 100 huh. and mm -hmm. I would not like to take care of my kids alone. Uh, yeah, so I true. think it's fear, it has something to do with fear. Yeah. So that's why some people wouldn't do it. I personally I wouldn't but when we think of our parents generation for example they do have that age gap 15, mm -hmm. 10, 20 some parents do have that mm -hmm. and they are quite okay with that. Mm -hmm. So I think it has something to do with the person. It's true. Okay things we can say about love now know yourself, know your identity be matured. Um, maturity comes with knowing yourself. So, if you don't know yourself, if you don't know what you want, if you don't know where yeah. you want to reach in life, you shouldn't start dating. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Okay. Good. Next question is: um, Can men or can women change men? Because nowadays we hear a lot of f boys and all this f girls and all this and my question to you guys is um can women change men if when if they had a um you know a bad not habit. a bad past a bad habit is that possible <laughs> well i think it depends on the person if the person doesn't see any reason why he or she should change it he wouldn't so let's say for example it was someone who spends a lot of money and I don't like it. If the person doesn't see the reason why he has to change it, he won't. Mm -hmm. And that's why some people enter relationships thinking they can change that person. But I don't think you can change that person yeah. if he doesn't see a reason to do so. And especially if that's how he was brought up, he will never change it. So yeah. I think you can change it. Yeah. Relationship 101. And yeah, we just discussed about love. And one thing I want to consider saying is that Dating in general, yeah, our parents do not like to do it as we just talked about and there's one thing we have to discuss What about if a parent says, okay, oh, you're not ready, you cannot date, do you yourself know, yeah, that you are ready? What, what about that? You know it, but your parents do not like like you to enter a relationship because we just said that um, if you know yourself Everything about yourself, what you like, what you do, uh, what you want to have in your life. And um, if you gain the maturity, you have the potential, like the potential to enter um, or to, you know, yeah, to go or enter a, um, a relationship, you know. So what about parents, factor parents? Anything I to say about parents, decision and so on? I think parents always want the best for us so if you are a parent and you tell me the reason or you explain to me the reason why I shouldn't date right now I think I will accept it make my way but if you do not give me a specific reason and I'm ready then I think I will go for it so as far as you give me a reason I think I might wait I might listen and be like oh okay that makes sense mm -hmm. so I would have to wait Mm -hmm. Maybe because of money or time or I don't know the distance. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, it might be right sometime. Yeah, I think I would still date that person, although my mom said um, no. And I would like to um, let my mom see that guy, and then she should choose whether she wants um, wants um, me to be with him or not. So to say, uh, no, I just don't want you to date any guy, 
um, based on her experiences and that's why she said no mm, I wouldn't accept that mm -hmm. um, I think it's important to um, to meet up so yes. yeah yeah if you have the partner you let them meet him um, I I can agree with uh, both. Yeah. Um, I don't care. I don't care. First, I don't care much about um, the opinion of my mother, um, because um, when I introduce my girlfriend, my mother, she can she can still um, say her uh, her opinion. But first of all, uh, yeah. Sometimes I think personally you should consider the opinion opinion from of your parents because it's like we all know this. <coughs> um parents bought your fake friends earlier than you do, you yeah. know? And why is that that we know that but we do not want to consider this into relationship matters, you know, because it's the truth. They know because they went to a certain experiences might not be always um, your case because as you as you said we are different people but can experience in general can help to make decisions or to create another point of view which we personally cannot see because we are just we just see our way so how about that because we all know this parents bought your fake friends before we do well, they do not always spoil a fake friend. Sometimes your parent might say, I don't really like that, your friend. But when they get to know that person, they'll be like, oh, I actually really yes. like her. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's always the truth. Yeah, yeah. And another thing is, they can give me their advice, but whether I will accept it or not, that's my decision. Sure, yes. I don't have yeah, to accept it's it. True. When it makes sense to me, I might, if not, I'll also explain to you why it doesn't make sense or why I wouldn't like to accept your opinion. Yeah. So I don't think... They always do spot a fake friend. Yeah. And experience are very different because um, when my mom has this uh, this experience, it doesn't mean that um, my experience ha uh, has to be the same experience. Yeah. Okay. So you mean okay, considering and listening to your parents is fine, but the final resource for the final decision to make is you. Yes. yes. Okay. Sure. Okay. I agree. It's true. Okay, guys, anything else to say about parents? Nothing. Good, okay. Can women change men? I said, just ask. Oh, tough question. <laughs> Let's see, the person had a very bad past. Every, the whole city knows him. <laughs> Everybody knows what he has done. Everything. But then you fell in love, or I, maybe you love each other. We could just discuss what love is, so it's not the matter of discussion anymore. And um, yeah, do you think you yourself you love him, and you yourself do you think you have the power to change him? <laughs> well, let let's assume he has been in some relationships before, and you are now in the relationship with that person, and you're like, I can change that person. I don't think you can, because what makes you special from those people that he met? Mm -hmm. Well, he loves you. He loves, but in other relationships, he loved them too. <laughs> you, are you sure? Because yeah, he loved them too. <laughs> if in a relationship, you love the person. Yeah. You, you do, you loved the person. Yeah. So I don't think, what's so special about you that he wants to change? He has yeah. kept that habit or whatever yeah. that he does for yeah. himself to now. Who are you to change him? What, what <clears throat> makes you think you are the right person to yeah. change him? You can't. Yeah, but I think if, it's, if it is a fact for yeah, you don't know whether it was love, um, between um, the girls he had and he, him, you know? So I think, I don't know. Well, it depends how um, far it Maybe is. Maybe you and him, you have love, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay, let me change. But let's see if the people are like, ah, no, don't trust him. He did this and that and this and that. But if he <laughs> truly loves you, no, 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 no. no you don't try. I just you don't, think, don't do that. If you know that person's past, why are you in the relationship at yeah, first place? Okay, if you true. know. Um, that person does this and that. Why are you in a relationship? You know he does that. Mm. And you need to imagine if that person never changes it, would you stay with that person? You yeah. need to ask yourself that question. So if that person doesn't change it and you wouldn't stay with him, then don't enter the relationship. Yeah, yeah, it's, tr yeah. Uh, yeah. it's true. If you, you yourself decided it, whether you love him or not, it's your decision. It's your, you know, 
destiny. If you want to do so, do so. But I think there's always a risk, you know, which comes along. And another question to that is, um, can you fully trust the person? Like you're in a relationship, and okay, you you like okay, you love each other, and you you know you want to want it to last long. And even though thinking about marriage, which should be the focus of dating, I think. Um, would you fully trust him fully? Like you change everything. Like, mm, would you? Mm -hmm. I would because um, trust is uh, the most important thing in a relationship. That's right. Important than, for me, important than love. And um, when you don't have trust in a person or you don't trust have trust in a relationship, yeah. you can cut the relationship. Yeah. Period. Yes, trust is the most important thing in a relationship. And like you said, um, if you don't trust him or her, it's unnecessary to be in a relationship and then why did you enter that rela mm. into that relationship mm. if you don't fully trust that person? Mm. So I think it's up to you if you trust that person. Mm. So yeah. yeah. So do you think it's fine? Um, we'll just talk about trust. Um, if a partner wants to pressure the other partner to do something which he or she is not ready for, like let's say marriage, and you're like, oh, I trust him. Would you be fine with it? Because you just said, without trust, no love. I think communication is um, really, really important in a relationship. And if he really knows me, he knows um, whether if I'm ready or not. We talked about uh, future plans and, and other stuff, like kids and job and, and house. I don't even know. Um, there are so many important things, and um, if I'm not ready, and we talked about it, and you've seen that I'm always like, mm, but how about that, and and you've seen that I'm not ready, why are you asking or pressuring me? Yeah. Like, and yeah. it's it's your problem, yeah. and um, if you see that I'm not ready, and you're still asking me to marry, to marry me, then I don't think. Uh, the relationship is going out well. Mm. But sometimes it can happen <coughs> in a communication, you can misunderstood someone. So maybe um, she give, uh, the girl gave you some hints to, to marry her, but the boy can uh, understand it in another other way. So maybe, as, I don't know. Yeah, but I think if you love the person, you still wait. If you know you love this person and you're sure you want to spend the rest of your life, with that person, why are you rushing? I think it's better yeah. for you to. If you really do love that person, I think you will wait. Yeah. So, so I don't think you need to push that person. Yeah, it's patience. Yeah. Patience. Yeah. Patience. And yeah. you need to even trust the person before entering in a relation, <coughs> entering a relationship. Because if I don't trust you, I can't be in a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't trust me in a relationship, that's when you start checking up on me, even though you said you love me. So I think you need to trust me before we enter a relationship. And. If yeah. you really love me, don't rush. Yeah. And you will also talk to friends, I think. You just don't ask, um, do you want to marry me? You will also ask my parents and my friends whether if she's ready or... Um, you will ask my parents, um, am I allowed to marry her, yeah. for example? And if they say, um, I've seen that she's not ready, she's doing this and that, and she yeah. has to focus on university or something else or a job, um, then why yeah. do you still want to ask? Yeah, so. because um, I think one week ago I was watching something on YouTube discussion and they discussed similar the similar thing which, which we are discussing now. They discussed um, if a man would um, um, da -da -da, want, you, would, uh, want, you to, want to marry you, yeah, and he's asking you um, how, what's the word in English? Propose. Yeah, thank you. Propose to you and you are a lot of people and um, you're like, okay, or he's like, do you want to marry me? And you neglect because you yourself are not ready for. And if he would, you know, stop the relationship, was it love? Because as you said, for me, love, not just for me, it's even the Bible, yeah, it's the Bible. Love is patience. If somebody 
if somebody loves you, he will, you know, he will sacrifice things like his self, his own needs, his own wishes, just um, to make sure that you are fine. And um, yeah, this is for me. Love is patience. And if you yourself say no, say no, and he's mad, let him be mad because if he was not patient um, to talk to you, to your relate, you know, relatives, relatives. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, that's not love. What about you? Mm. Well, I think you're right because you would have to ask me the reason. I understand if you're mad, but if you love me, you will stay. You will ask me the reason why I wasn't ready because maybe, um, as he said earlier, the communication went wrong. And apart from that, I feel like if you do not ask me the reason, you might do the same mistake in the next relationship. So you need to ask me why weren't why weren't you ready and then I will explain to you so mm. if, whether you stay or not that's your decision but I think you also need to, um, to know the person's reaction whenever you talked about the topic marriage so if you know the person reacted quite weird why are you still forcing and asking or proposing um, in front of everyone yeah. if you're not really sure you need to be sure mm -hmm. yeah it's true I like it good um, what about two different religions Let's say you are a Christian and he is a Muslim or Buddhist, I don't know what else is on the world. Um, would you be fine with you, you know, because um, I think religion forms your mentality, your morals and your way of acting and thinking on your decision making. So it's pretty, not just pretty, it's very hard to be in a relationship with another, you know, type of religion. And my question to you guys is, is that possible? Okay. Is it is it possible? But it is very 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 tough because, yeah. in, in my opinion, when I want to be in a relationship, um, I want uh, to to have a wife or have a girlfriend that uh, are in Christ or in Jesus Christ or um, have trust in Christ. Yeah. But when she she is a Muslim, she has a different point of view or a different view uh, of rela relationship or life and um, it could be, it could be, a, um, how can I say in English, a hindernis? A barrier? Or it could be a barrier for both of them and this could destroy or mm -hmm. uh, or you can't enter with that a relationship. Mm. It's very difficult. Like you have, in every point, a different view. It's um, when we talk about food. You know, Muslims don't eat uh, pigs. Okay. Pork. And um, pork, sorry. Um, and so, uh, uh, for example, Sundays, when we um, I will go to church, and on Friday he's going to a mosque, and. There are so many point of view. It will it will, it will be difficult, and also when the families are meeting up, mm -hmm. um, some of the um, women wear like cover the face up and like I'm in a t-shirt or in a dress, and they will look at me like like um, like okay. shit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, I know a couple who could um, manage that. Um, um, they have three kids wow. and um, she's a Christian and the man is Muslim but the kids are Muslims so yeah I think there's always one dominant religion yes. you yeah. know either you win or he or she mm. or um, yeah you so for me personally it's not impossible to enter a relationship but it has a lot of difficulties, yeah, like mm -hmm. a lot, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Family, like family yes. decision making, mm -hmm. um, everything. So, yeah. okay, if the love is strong, um, you yourself can decide whether you to enter or not because yeah. it's your personal, it's mm -hmm. your life. Yeah, but make sure, not just make sure, but you know, expect difficulties, hard difficulties yes, yeah. to have because, as we said, these are two different mentalities. Love is there, it's hard. Yeah. And when you raise a child or raise many children, um, maybe they are under pressure to choose a, reli to a religion. Yeah. That's also difficult. Maybe 
um, one of the parents can be obsess, uh, upset with that. Yeah, right. but I also think it depends on how strict they are because mm -hmm. I think the right. more strict you are, the yeah. more um, the more um, difficult, difficult it becomes yeah. for you to choose a person from another um, re uh, religion. So I think if you're very very strict, I don't think you will ever go for um, um, a person in another in another relationship. And mm -hmm. me personally, I wouldn't because I always say in Christianity that if you love someone, and especially when you have a very great relationship to God. The more you go to God, the more um, you find that person. Especially if you're looking for a Christian, mm -hmm. you always want someone who is um, near to God. So, in order for you to find um, a Christian, you have to go to you have to come near to God because that person sure. is also near to God. So I think if you're not really that kind of strict um, Muslim or you're not a strict Christian, it might um, be possible. But there are also families who like they live their children. Um, up to decide the kind of religion they um, want to belong to. But if you really want your child to become like a Christian, I think it's difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because some parents are really open That's when true. it comes to their children's religion. Uh, yeah. Religion, you don't force them. And you, um, you really have to think more than twice if you really want to go through all the difficulties. True. So you have to think, do you really love that person so much to go to all the difficulties? Mm -hmm. So it's true. Yeah. If you don't love, don't do it. Otherwise, you will suffer. It's yeah. just true. If and it's still, uh, if it's just a crush, a little crush yeah. for a time, then yeah, that's that's yeah. why you have to know the difference. Yeah, you know? <coughs> it's very important to know the difference between love and being love. Otherwise, you will find yourself scattered. <laughs> the end. I'm, I'm telling you. Okay. Um. Anything else to say to that topic? Because you know. Okay, now let's get into standards, you know, um, when, we are in, we are, when we are entering into relationships, we have certain points of view, certain standards we would like to have so that we know, okay, um, I want this and that, because we just discussed that love is about self-identity before, um, you know, um, having the potential to enter a relationship, you know, because uh, when you know yourself, you know what you want, what you like, what you like of in your future and so on, what you like to continue. And um, it's like, and you yourself know that um, it's like um, it's another person to provide for. You get to sacrifice, and he will sacrifice. You know, it's giving and sharing. And my um, question is, um, if you have or are in a relationship, and a man treats you very good, like a goddess, and he works at McDonald's, and you yourself, you told yourself because you know yourself, and you know what you like, yeah. Um, I would not marry that because I have other, you know, future plans which does not support to this kind of life, mm -hmm. you know. Would you s marry him or stay in that relationship? Okay, marriage is quite weird, <laughs> but um, would you consider that? Um, would you, would wow. you stay in the relationship? Yeah. Depends on the person saying that. If you're saying you don't want a man who works at McDonald's, then you should have money as well. You, then you should um, have your own money. Yeah. You should um, have, for example, when I say I want a man with a car, do you even have your own car? Because what if his car is not working anymore? We would have to use my car. So when I do not have a car, I think it depends. So when you're saying something, you should have that thing yeah, yourself. Yeah, but I think it can work because if I have my own money and my man is working at McDonald's and let's say um, <clears throat> he's been fired, I have my money. I can yeah. take care of you. But when I don't want a man that's working at McDonald's and I'm not even working at all, then we have a problem. So uh, yeah. it can work. So I just think you should just be careful who you are and what you even have in your hands as well. Yeah. yeah. But it's quite difficult sometimes because let's say you have these standards, you are very sure what you like. And then you meet him and then you not just you you love each other like it's strong. And he works at McDonald's, and you yourself said, no, I cannot, but um, would you stay, if it's really love, because now we know what love is, we discussed it, if it's love, would you stay? Like, because I can, general, I can tell, um, you know, love is important, but I think a person or a human being likes you know the feeling of security yeah, um, nobody wants to suffer yeah. these are two you know 
um, main things which is yeah. in a human being. Like he wants to feel protected and he wants to love or feel love. Yeah. And this this is a conflict, you know, because um, you love but you need the money as well. Money is not the most important thing, but if you are in a relationship, there will be a time which will, um, you know, which will, um, you know, um, which will show that money is important as as well. And um, yeah, my question is that how would you cope? Like, let's say you are in a relationship, <laughs> and then you said, okay, I love him, I will make that sacrifice, and then financial problems because hmm, this is tough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It depends because. If you want security, then you should also have your own money as well. Yeah. Because when it gets critical, that means I would have to help as well. Yeah. And it also depends on why he's working at McDonald's. Like, yeah. if he just That's ended up there, if he because we always say we have to go to uni, but uni is not for everyone. No, no. So if he ends up McDonald's out of a specific reason, then he can help it. Yeah. So true. I think you should just accept it. But if he had the chance and. He didn't grab it and went to McDonald's then, yeah. I would say bye. Yeah, it's all about, you know, okay, you told me to say something. Um, if it's for a short period of time um, and he's working on something to get a better yeah. job, yeah. then it's something different. different. Or if it's yeah. just a second job, like, yeah. it, it would be alright, it would be okay for me. Yeah. But if it's his only job and um, his, he doesn't do anything to get a better job, to get more money it's not, it's not about the job only like it's about our future goals and if you want like a big house and i mean for example four kids uh, a job at mcdonald's or me for example working um at um h and m it, w it wouldn't be possible yeah, yeah. so um uh, it's not about like mcdonald's being uh, trash or something like it's a, it's about um, getting the money, more money, and yeah. if you had the chance, or now even we always have a chance. Of like course. you can you can um, look for jobs and uh, practice to get a better job. I wouldn't say uh, it's not possible. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, first of all, I would say um, because we are Africans and when. We are uh, born in Europe and um, we have much potential to reach something higher than to work uh, at McDonald's but uh, um, when you working at McDonald's for a short term or time, um, I don't have a problem with that. True, yeah. I think, yeah, if the person works for a short period of time, as we just said, it's fine, but if you know the person is just lazy and do not want yeah. to do so, then no, yeah. you know. But I have also, uh, I also agree with Der uh, Deborah because um, I know a lot of uh, girls or women say uh, or um, say or think uh, a man should have this or that or uh, something like that, but uh, um, also haven't uh, maybe got a car. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's uh, true. I don't like that. Yeah. So do you mean women are going to go? No. No. No, no, no. If, if you're saying that you want um, someone who doesn't, you want your husband to be rich but you don't have the own money, then I'll say you're a gold digger. Yeah. Because if your man is working at McDonald's and you are not even working, or let's say you are also lazy and you're saying you don't want your man to work at McDonald's, that one I'll say you're a gold digger. But if you have your own money and your man is working at McDonald's, you wouldn't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and adding to it, I think sometimes even the person is trying, if that person is really trying his best and is yes. working at McDonald's, that one is fine. But if you're yeah. lazy, then yeah. I, I think we would have to cut the relationship. It's true. We it's all have great. standards, but uh, when you have standards, you also have to... to, to um, yeah. Or can I say in, Engl uh, in English? Uh, See if it's uh, realistic or... Uh, yeah, first and second, um, when I say um, a girl uh, have to, to have a job, I also have to have a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there has to be a balance, you cannot yeah. just say, yeah, I want to have a car and I will have a car. 
How? PhD. It's not possible. <laughs> I wanted to have a PhD, but I didn't go to uni. It, it does not work like that. Yeah. You know, you have yeah. to settle for yourself first so that he can take you serious as well. Because yeah. it's not that men are, I don't know, objects. They are human too, you know? Mm -hmm. You cannot say, I want this and that, and do you don't have. I totally agree. So, my, my next question is, um, do you would you marry someone with no papers? Like um, somebody are forced to do these jobs, but it's not that they want to, you know. And would you, if the person works at McDonald's? Yeah, for person? example, because um, due he has no papers, for example. No would you? And it's love. Would I you? I won't say no, but. Um, we should be careful uh, about his his um, intentions. intentions. Yeah, sure. Maybe he want he wants to stay in Europe, but um, maybe he betray betray or uh, yes. maybe he or she betray me. Uh, so um, we have to to um, to be careful. Yeah, be careful mm -hmm. about yeah. his intentions. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, because yeah. there are also I don't know whether it's true, but there are rumors that some people come here. And they have their family over there, so yeah. when he reaches your paper, it's not even a you will leave. <laughs> yeah, you know, we never know. Sorry, <laughs> no shame, but shame. Um, he might get the paper and then um, bring his wife and yes. children from I don't know, oh, Italy, Spain, bad. wherever they Rude. are. So I think you should be careful with the intentions yeah. and um, yeah. But I think things like that. We are. Yeah. It's it's not even hard. It's sometimes you know that person might. Not love you, but some people are just naive and yeah. they'll just be like, oh, there's oh, nothing wrong yeah. with the yeah. signs. Yeah. yeah, they know the signs. Friends are telling you, but you just, Don't. you know. People are telling you but yourself, get signs. What would you do? Um, but for example, like, um, if I'm in love with a guy uh, at McDonald's and he doesn't have a job and, and he's a Ghanaian, um, most Ghanaian families know everyone. So they will find out just uh, when they hear then his name about his family. Ah, oh, uh, he's from yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kumasa Tonsu. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. okay, I know his family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, he's married and he has two kids. Yeah. Just leave that guy alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're okay, but if he's from another country, it will be more difficult to find more about um, his family yeah. or so, his past. But if he's Ghanaian, You'll probably find out uh, where he, co he comes from, yeah. or yeah. Um, <laughs> so nothing else than Ghanaians. Uh, <laughs> no, or even people. People might even, especially foreigners. Yeah. We always know ourselves. Even Turkish people, they also yeah. always know themselves. So I think when you hear information like that, you shouldn't just um, ignore them. Mm -hmm. I just say if you ignore them, you are very naive because yeah. it might be true. Even sometimes your inner feeling. Good people. And it's not your work. I mean, we are not life coaches. I fully agree. And before we start continuing this, we are heading into a break. So stay tuned. It's gonna going to be lit. So just stay. Hey guys, my name is Cindy. Miss Ghana Germany, two thousand fifteen and sixteen. And keep watching Ghana TV abroad, the best TV channel in Germany. Bye. <laughs> Hey, what's up, people? Okay, <coughs> we are now continuing, and we just uh, discussed about standards. And my next question is about, you know, money. We just discussed money, like that. Money is can be important too, or as well. And my next question is: Let's say you guys are in a relationship, on and, and your girl or your man says, okay, to help us out, let's get into sugar daddy sugar mommy relationships would you be fine with it if your girl has a sugar daddy without sugar like would you be fine with it no no <laughs> why like he's not it's just he um she's just <coughs> spending his time with um her time with him it's not touching but him. not touching all sexual content as well, okay, hugging maybe ever and playing, but not sexual contact. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's a difficult question. Um, 
Hell no. Hell no. Hell, hell no. no. Not, yeah. yeah no. Not, not, <laughs> no. Not, mm, I would say no nah because it is a risk to get in a relationship with some person <coughs> who was a sugar mama, right? Mm -hmm. Is it a risk and um, I don't know what that is. Yeah. This can turn out very bad. <laughs> like if you have. No, let's be real. Like, yeah, you can. Uh, if you have a sugar daddy and you are not giving him sugar, like, you know, hugging and this no, contact. No, um, it's not it, enough for them. Yeah, Trust me. It will, you know, deepen. Like, I'm yeah. not sure. And I just think there are other alternatives of working. Yes. Um, you can have a part time job. You can babysit. You can, mm -hmm. I don't know, there are people who have talents. You can sew. You can sing. Um, there are many things that you can do, and I think she was also right, it could um, deepen. Mm -hmm. And maybe you wouldn't have sexual contact with that person, but it might get to a time, like five, six years, the person will come back and tell you to give him his or her money. Mm -hmm. And let's say yeah. you are in a state where you don't have money. Yeah, you right. might end up, I don't know, in prison or whatever, so it's very dangerous. I wouldn't yeah. do that. Yeah, and um, we just said that, okay, there are other alternatives to cover up money or to bring up money, mm -hmm. but um, what the, are the roles of a man in a relationship and the roles of a woman? Like, um, let's say you are in a relationship, you say, okay, you love each other, you know you don't have a lot of money, but you want to have the sacrifice, you decide it. And um, yeah, now you are in a point where money is, you know, a little bit trouble. What would you do? Like, what is your role as a man? What is your role as a woman in a relationship to cover this up? Because um, for me personally, it's like, Women are very passionate, no? that they like to support and they like to, um, you know, um, just support and uh, wants the idea of the man to grow, yeah? But the man has a certain role as well. What would you think the role of a man is? When it comes to the money? For example, in a relationship, money is just an example. Mm. Uh, when they are married or just in a relationship? Relationship. Wow. Well, in a relationship, I'll just say the role of a man is quite different than in a marriage. So I'll say both of them would have to work out mm. and find their ways to make their money. Yeah. And I wouldn't say that only the man should do it, but both of them should find out ways to um, get money and support each other. Not yeah. just that... Um, I'm thinking about myself, how I'm going to get the money for myself, but how we both are going to get money for us. Yeah. yeah. Both, okay. uh, both have to work for money, but um, as a man, I see me in a position to to carry for for the girl, so I would work. Um, uh, when I, I'm a husband, I work till I die. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Nothing. Okay, I think, yeah, you both should be ready, he should, um, I think he should provide, yeah, but you shouldn't do nothing, you should do something as well, because you are one union, and um, in case um, something else is happening, you know, emotionally, as a girl, I think, you have the power to support and say, hey, everything is going to be alright, you support each other, you know, you are there for each other, and that's, um, what a relationship for me is about. It's about growing, it's about, you know, um, looking and watching ahead, you know, because when you're dating, you should consider marriage, not just for fun. You should. I said you should. Yeah, cool. Okay, next thing is about betrayal, because it's important. And my question is, what do, um, would you date a man who has a repeti repetition of cheating? I think we discussed this already, no? Okay, cool. The other thing is, if your soulmate cheated on you, would you say, stay? Like, it's your soulmate. You are best friends. You love each other. Mm. But then, no. would you stay? My soulmate won't cheat on me. True. Yeah, so, um, I wouldn't stay. Um, I think it depends on our relationship, um, if we have 
kids and we are married, it's a difficult uh, situation. Mm -hmm. um, we still have to be on good terms. Like um, we have to talk about that. And I think I would I would say I would leave. And we both have to decide when to see the children, who's going to see the children, or I don't know who's taking care of mm -hmm. um, that kid, and maybe you're going to take care of that kid on mm -hmm. Thursday, and I'm going to see the kids on, on um, Saturday and Sunday. I don't but know. It's about sad. It's, it's really yeah. sad, but the trust is gone. Yeah, yeah. The trust is gone, and I don't want to share my man, my, my husband. I don't want to share him. So, um, if he got the time to cheat on me and to spend time with other women um, and to be intimate with them, yeah. That, I, yeah. I would say, um, don't get me wrong, but I would say it's a tough decision because we all say um, we would leave yes, or um, of course. normally we would leave, <coughs> but when you're really in this situation, when, uh, for example, my wife cheat on me um, maybe for example we we won't uh, won't give them a chance mm. so I wouldn't say um, straight up um, leave or something like that it's it depends I would I would say maybe it depends mm. on mm. the kind of how he cheat on me maybe I don't know but but no, uh, normally I would I would leave. Mm, yeah, yeah, because so, there are yeah. some people who like let's say they've been married let's say for thirty years and then the person cheats for him let's say only two months. There are some people who would stay in this situation because he or she doesn't <coughs> want to throw away um, thirty years of marriage. Mm -hmm. um, I personally wouldn't stay because when I stay with you, I think I will always come up with that. Yes, thing. and yeah. yes. if you are ready. To those who would be ready to stay, you need to um, see to it that you cannot always go to the person with the problem because you've decided to stay. Yeah. So you have no right. Let's say if I cheat on you and you decide to stay with me, you have no right to come up to me every time you say you cheated. The last time you cheated, you, you decided to stay. So don't come up with the topic I cheated on you because you decided yeah. to stay. You could leave, but you didn't. Yeah. So I don't think um, you should stay if you do not have the heart to take um, that person because you've decided to stay. So. I don't think you should always come up with the topic and yeah. say I cheated on you the last time you cheated or you start I don't know checking my phone now and then because I've cheated on you before so I think if you don't trust the person just don't stay yeah that's true no. Bless me. yeah I think um, talking about marriage it's easy it's easier to speak like that if you're married but when you're in a relationship it's kind of hard because um, in a relationship when you have a bondage and you're like, oh, I want to stay because um, because I love him, blah, 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 then it's still okay to stay in a relationship, I think, for me personally. In a marriage, it's another story. Yeah. Um, but um, in a relationship, it's still okay if you, when you stay. And that's why for me, um, I think when you are dating, you shouldn't give your everything, your whole heart. It's just my opinion. Otherwise, um, Getting in this kind of situation, it can really hurt, and this hurt could have been prevented, you know? Like, okay, if you're ready for marriage and you do, you can give your everything, but if not, you can't do it, but it will hurt, but, I think. But when you are in a long-term relationship, um, we, we both um, change during the relationship, yeah. and I would think during a long relationship, maybe eight years or seven years, six years, you you would give all your love to your soulmate. Mm, okay. Maybe not um, uh, in the first two weeks or uh, two weeks, two years or something like that. But um, in seven, eight years, you mm. would give all of them yeah. because it feels like you maybe you are in a marriage or yeah. have a strong bondage. Okay, now some tea questions. Uh -huh. um, let's say you have a sister and a brother, and you are um, and you are you are having relationships, yeah. And um, your sister betrays you, your own flesh and blood, with your boyfriend, 
and for you, your brother? How would you cope with it? Would you forgive your sister? This is deep betrayal. This is deep because it's your sister or your brother, you know? Wow. This is hard. If you're my sister, I don't think you will hate me that much to want the worst for me. Mm. So, we are sisters. I can't change it. Yeah. Plan. So, I wouldn't forgive you. Okay, God said we should forgive. But I, might, I will forgive you. Because God has also forgiven me, right? I will yeah. forgive you, but I don't think we'll stay in contact. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. one, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want to have kids later and I'll have an auntie that yeah. cheated on me with, I don't know, my ex husband or whatever. Oh, pregnant too. Yeah, yeah. 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 my It's going to get worst case. <laughs> no, it's the worst case. No. So, <clears throat> I just think, if you do that, you as a sister, you're selfish. I don't think you understood what it meant to be a sister or a brother yeah. to me. It's true. I, I totally agree. You will forgive that person, but there's always that one thing which remembers you of, oh, yeah. you hurt me, and then you are getting ca yeah, careful. Forgive, but not forget. Yeah. yeah this Unless you didn't know he was my boyfriend. Mm. Yeah. Oh. But She's I don't think. She has to know. No, I don't know. Maybe you didn't know that it was that person. You know, there are people who are so naive. <laughs> there are people who are really naive to that extent. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I think I wouldn't. I don't know. I wouldn't have anything to do with you. Yeah, it's hard, yeah. man. Oh, wow. Yeah. You must really hate me for doing that. That's true. And I think I'll ask you the reason why, because yeah, as sisters, you would have to really hate me to yeah. do that. I wouldn't even ask uh, her um, why. The reason, because there is no reason to do that. Maybe you hate me for I don't know for whatever I did in the past. Because maybe I stole your T-shirt. Okay, that, that's, that's that's childish. That's that one. That's Give me an childish. example. As for that, I saw something on YouTube. There is no. <laughs> I saw something. A girl, there is no reason. A girl cheated on um, no. A girl, a sister betrayed. Um, took the boyfriend of the sister because she forgot to congratulate her on her birthday. Okay, that this one is, is wickedness. This is wickedness. That one, I think, I will... This is... Steve Harbour. Oh. Steve, what's his name? Blah, blah. Oh. Wow. No. I wouldn't have... That one, that's a stupid... That's the that's most stupid, stupid reason I've ever had. I, don't, I think I would... Mm -mm. I wouldn't talk to you anymore. That's not a reason for me. Because that's why you wanted to hurt me. Then. You wanted to... Like... Was it so bad? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. God. Okay. I agree. But it's rude not to congratulate me as your sister. <laughs> <laughs> that's also rude. That's, that's also rude. Yeah, that's but really savage. Like, still wow. not a reason. But it's not a reason. Betraying. I don't know, throw my shoes away or take my money, but yeah. don't see my boyfriend. Are you Just mad? I think, I think if you have these cases, you should have an intense talk. Like, oh. you have to talk and figure this out because everything has a reason. It's not, it's not that he just or she just came up with it. And um, I think you need an intense talk and, you know, you have to find the, you know, foundation of the cause which caused this damage so that nothing like that will happen again, you know. Though you not trust the person again, okay, but just to make sure everything is settled and nothing similar will happen again, you know. Because it's your sister, you cannot just throw her away. It's your sister, blood sister. Yeah. Blood. Mm, hmm. Let's say, um... But I will not they, forgive you. They, both of them were drunk. If you're no. drunk, you're still conscious. If you're yeah, drunk, it doesn't true. mean you are out of your mind. If you're drunk, some people don't remember what. Happened. I don't believe in that, you know. Mm. I don't believe in that. Um, alcohol. This I've never drunk excuse. before, but I don't. But I don't believe yeah. in that. But oh. it's not an excuse. And I think okay, discuss it intensely, forgive, but don't forget. Wow. Is it, you have, you know, it's just because she hurted you. Okay, um, that is your sister, don't forget it. <laughs> Other thing is, speaking about or talking about betrayal, um, there are some cases where men or women say and have very bad experience with men and women in relationships, and then they, they, and they themselves say, okay, I want to become gay. Are you cool with that? Because you have very <coughs> bad experience with guys and now you say, okay, I want to become gay. Wow. That's, no, not, I, an um, that's not an excuse. Yeah, it's true. I don't know. We have about, how many people are we on earth? I think seven, seven billion. Yeah. And you can't tell we've dated every guy on this earth to become gay. I don't know where that's from. I think it wouldn't change. It wouldn't this change you. Situation. No, no, yeah. A man can <coughs> also betray a man. So. Yeah, yeah. But it's like some people, they are, 
there, there are a lot of examples, but I don't want to. Um, they say, okay, now the men, they hurt me and I cannot, even though they did not date everyone, they know for sure, but because they had this bondage to them and certain experience, they are very hurt and they themselves say, no, now women. As for me, I couldn't, you know, you don't love women. It's just because you are hurt. And you're finding an excuse. Yeah, you're finding an excuse to say, okay, I want um, you know, to date women. For me, mm -mm, you sh I think you need a break time out. Think, 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 and then continue. That's my opinion because you're not gay. <laughs> you're not my, gay. By my opinion, you can't become gay. Yeah. It's. It's in someone um, since childhood. Since childhood, yeah. So the I know a lot of people. They were um, just when they were like four or five. They were different. Uh, you've seen them that they are not like me. Um, so I don't think they choose to be yeah. gay. Yeah. Like you don't choose to be um, hated, hated yeah. uh, by everyone. Yeah. Like it's it's common that when you're gay, the most um, of the people hate you that they're dis and that they're disgusted. Yeah. So I don't think that you ch yeah. choose to be gay. Yeah. So wow. you are not, um, you are gay or you are not gay. Yeah. So you don't choose to be gay. I fully agree. But, but there are some people um, who've made um, really bad um, experiences and they are thinking that they are gay and they want to try something new but in the future they will find out oh it was maybe um, not the right thing yeah. so but I don't think that they are gay it's just an I don't I don't know how to call it experiment it's or perception yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. they're, they're just do. desperate and they don't know what to do yeah. Yeah, yeah. but I don't think um, you become gay I totally agree. It's either in you or not. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> yeah, yeah. So, if you have experience, don't don't become gay. Like, take a time out, chill, um, travel the world, calm down, and then we'll see what we can do. But not just you know because oh, you had. I understand the feeling that some people are very hurt. Like very hurt. It can be, but. I think you yourself, you have to find yourself again, as we said in the beginning, identity, know what you want again, so, um, through time out, through traveling, through um, performing your hobbies, and then you're back on it again, you know, that's my opinion, okay, so that's about dating, so guys, I think there are young viewers, there might be young viewers, do you want to um, hand out any <coughs> tips for them considering dating? And some other things we just discussed in this discussion. Don't rush into sure. a relationship. I mean, I know it's very difficult, especially when you're in school and everyone in your class is in a relationship. But trust me, if almost 70% of them grow up and they really regret it. Yeah. So I would say um, just enjoy your youth. Yeah. That's what I'll say. Enjoy your youth because at the age of 20, you are either working, you are either in uni, and you don't have time. So I would just say, spend time in your youth, chill, go out with friends, go swimming, go, I don't know, dancing. Do, I don't <coughs> know, put your makeup on and, I don't know, <laughs> buy the best dresses in town, yeah. you know. Yeah. And boys are in everything, you know. It's true. Boys, girls, girls are also not everything. Yeah. yeah. So I will just say, don't rush. Okay. Can be 95 and date. <laughs> yeah. uh, first of all, <coughs> focus on your real goals like um, high school, education, yeah, education, um, all your hobbies like football. <coughs> focus on that, or carry um, your siblings, your mom, father, um, and then when you are fin finished with your education. Um, and you find yourself and you are ready to be in a relationship then you can go on but as Deborah said don't rush true I like it I would also say just focus on finding yourself and like Deborah said and don't rush don't rush because 
the time goes by fast, really, really fast. Um, like, I was just 13 and now I'm going to be 20, uh, 21. So, please don't rush and um, if you've got problems, um, talk to your parents. Mm. Like, communication is really, really important. Don't make things just on your own and thinking that, oh, she gonna beat me up or they will send me back to Ghana or something <laughs> else. Like, it's really important to talk to them. So if you did something bad and they will find it out from other person, then it's going to be worse. Yeah, it's so going to be worse. So just talk about certain situations and there will be always a uh, solution and pray to God. Or take advice from from real friends. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Mm -hmm. So people, that's it for today. I hope you like it, enjoyed it, learned something. So as we said, find yourself, be matured, know what you want, um, don't rush, and take advice, and you're good to go. So if you are very honest to yourself, you know how to check out these things, and you're good to go, as we said. So yeah. thanks for watching. Bye. Say bye. 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 Okay. Ooh, yeah, yeah. At the burn it on. to J, baby. She prefers to get her life to that of the life them living in the estates. I'm gonna be my wife, so she ain't gonna go break no rules that I state. Together like the sea and shore, stand for eternity and yes for sure. I just a party and for more, and don't bother about another girl about more. My girl, from the ghetto where we born and grow, it's only our kind of love we know. Nothing gonna stop us now. We loving us till we grow. Old. My boy, from the ghetto where we born and grow, it's only our kind of love we know. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Oh boy, you know I can't do nothing without you And all the things you do to me, my baby Makes me wanna be with you, oh That's why you alone represent the wood and I'm a fire Go pull any land to give you what you desire Lifetime service, now we are gonna retire We're rich and up, rich and up, rich and up high Hold my hand, let's play and dance together Cause you are my love, yeah I love you more Cause from the ghetto where we born and grow And you are the only one that I know My ghetto girl I love you more Cause from the ghetto where we born and grow Flatters and blinks She deals with the truth and natural things Clean heart, pure love No dirty things I put her above all my things That's why when other man them come in and them try act funny She side by me, she not want them money And always complain of a boy named Tony That he is of a whore with him Lamborghini out But what them do not know In her system my blood flows This girl here, yeah, I'm me everything The one I'm cherishing, my love, my life, my soul she alone qualifies to be my own My black diamond out of slow No matter what the man go do I do you want to go on me though Oh my girl From the ghetto where we burn and grow It's only I kind of love we know Nothing gonna stop us now We loving us till we grow My boy From the ghetto where we born and grow It's only I kind of love we know
place. Oh, oh, you are my ghetto love. True love is you are my ghetto love. love. My wonder love, my everything, my baby, baby. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, you, you are say? my ghetto love. Guys, my name is Cindy, Miss Ghana Germany 2015 and 16, and keep watching Ghana TV Abroad, the best TV channel in Germany. Bye.